In, in seriousness, um, I think logistics has certainly um, hit a, a chord with investors currently, um, both as a result of the relative pricing that logistics represents compared to other sectors, but also the existence of, of the financial crisis and what that's done to uh, investors' appetites and what they're looking for out of real estate. So clearly, we've already seen the strong income return that logistics provides. And in relative terms, a, um, an asset that's yielding 7 plus percent um, for the very best stock uh, in Europe compared to either other real estate sectors, offices and retail, which are now mid to low fours and even below that for the very best. That's a very substantial risk premium or, or income premium. So I think firstly, there's the strong income component that's, that's driving investment demand. Uh, and then the other thing that I think is interesting about the logistics sector, which we've seen a little bit on the occupier side over the last three years, uh, is that sector has actually shown relatively low correlation to the European economy. So whereas um, demand for office space and retail space has clearly been impacted by the, the global recession and in particular the European situation, um, the same can't be said for logistics where demand has actually been stronger than ever before. And I think it's something, you know, it's obviously to do more with the global economy, global trade flows. So I think you've got a, a nice decorrelation with the European economy, which is also an attractive factor. No, and I agree totally with what Rob said about um, the performance and the demand for logistics has continued. I think it's also been helped by the fact there's a, a lack of um, construction and there's been hardly any development in the last five years, really. And in certain markets, you're seeing occupancy, uh, sorry, vacancy rates in Slovakia 1%, Czech Republic 3%. Um, I think the drivers actually have, have been a mixture of things. There's um, a lot of manufacturing has had to find cheaper places to manufacture. And therefore, um, they, they've been moving and logistics is therefore needed for them. More logistics as, for instance, Romania has seen a big uptake in manufacturing. Um, I think on the, your question about um, sort of the, uh, the e-commerce, um, I mean, it has made a big difference. The, um, the markets are, there's a lot of people looking at e-commerce. A lot of businesses during a recession have had to change their model. So a lot of people are doing much more direct sales to, to customers rather than through retail. And that's why the retail sector has been hit so hard. So I think, um, you know, the, I think we see the uh, e-commerce sector continue to, to continue to grow, but actually a lot of it's coming from within existing warehouses. It's only sort of the Amazons and some of the bigger people who are actually having new warehouses built across Europe. Otherwise, a lot of, um, a lot of existing warehouses now have a section within them that is, that is e-commerce. And the knock-on effect from that is the likes of the DHLs and TNTs needing um, much smaller last-mile last delivery hubs. And that's also been for us personally, we've, we've got uh, just one under construction, just finished one, another one coming up. So that's how we see things.